This is the old Calamity Repentance Flamethrower, huh? and this is the brand new reworked version. The Catalyst mod has just released a new update, which has combined both the unofficial Calamity Whips mod and the Calamity Flamethrowers mod together with exciting new reworks. I'll be showcasing all of the items from this mod, so if you enjoy Calamity update videos like this, please consider subscribing. First, let's talk about Calamity Flamethrowers. This was a pretty niche subclass in Calamity, with not really enough weapons for the entire playthrough. However, with the addition of Catalyst, this subclass has well been expanded, with the introduction of 7 new flamethrowers, that fit pretty nicely in progression. Let's showcase all of these right now. Man, these reworks are such an amazing improvement from the old flamethrowers, and I'll definitely be playing around with these in my next Calamity playthrough. Moving on to Calamity Whips, this has always been a controversial topic. Whereas we at least know for sure the Aerolite Whip is planned for the official mod, Catalyst has added 9 additional whips, further expanding the summoner's arsenal of active weapons, and actually having whips post Moonlord that aren't the Kaleidoscope. I know without a doubt that these will be OP, however, it's great that they're giving summoners more options to play around with. One of the cooler unique weeps added is the Catharsis, that adds a new blood charge UI, and filling up the meter will perform these cool red slashes. And with that being said, here are all the other whips in this update. So that was basically all the major additions from the Catalyst update. Some other notable ones include a respy to Astrogelodon, as well as the reward stuff. A cool new Wolfram Satchel, which will cause a big explosion on cell strikes. I'll definitely be accidentally destroying my house with this change. And finally, a Wolfram Flashlight, with some nice customizable colors. That was the video, goodbye.